Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to be do, uh, reading off an article that I wrote a little while ago. Uh, we had some people say that uh, they prefer to actually see videos as opposed to trying to go online and actually read uh, the stuff. So, here it is. Uh, this is going to be for Perfect is the Enemy of Good. I'd like to thank David Hewlett for his video of the same title because I would not likely have started writing articles and doing videos if I hadn't faced this. I'll try to link to his video in the description. In fact, there are a huge number of things that I've put off until I can do them right. But that time never seems to come. It's an interesting concept and it goes back as far as Aristotle and Confucius. It's related to the concept of the golden mean, which counsels against any kind of extremism. The Pareto Principle, or the 80-20 rule, explains this numerically. It can take as little as 20% of the whole time required for a project to complete 80% of it, while to complete the last 20% can take as much as 80% of the time, especially if you're trying to be a perfectionist. Achieving absolute perfection may be impossible, as the extra effort results in diminishing returns, so further activity becomes increasingly inefficient. This can be so much an issue that Richard Gabriel came up with the concept that worse is better for software, and that the rough but usable beginning uh, things can improve within sort of a continual feedback and improvement loop. The Japanese even came up with the concept of wabi-sabi. It's a style that actually finds an appreciation for imperfections. In my own life, I can honestly say that I've learned to love the imperfections or quirks of the people that I know. It's those imperfections that make being with them fun and interesting. In fact, if they learn to do the things that I uh, things well, I kind of miss the imperfections. Maybe the movie Yes Man hit it close to home when the lead character said, because the old Carl didn't think he was enough for anyone. I thought if I said yes to things and got involved with people, sooner or later they would find out that I'm not enough. I didn't think I had anything to share. That's about an hour and a half into the movie. But I've noticed that we really want to be with those that we care about. And even if the, we are only watching a favorite TV show, it's because we've grown attached to the characters. The things, that we share, the things that we have to share is our time and letting people know that we care about them. No child is concerned about having perfect a parent or perfect friends. They just want to spend time with them. And let me leave you with a quote from Edmund Burke. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Thanks, folks.